श्री गुरुभ्यो नम विद्यापीठ विधातार विद्यावारिधि चंदर विद्यार्थी वत्सल वे महामहिम सद्गु श्री गुरुभ्यो नम इट इज नॉट इट ऑल अ सीक्रेट दैट माहुली गोपालाचार्य वॉज अ ग्रेट स्कॉलर एंड अ रिलीजियस एंड स्पिरिचुअल पर्सनैलिटी लिटरली अब्जेक्टिव फॉल शॉर्ट टू डिस्क्राइब सच अ डिवाइन पर्सनैलिटी when we when we expand the letters of his name i mean when we expand the each and every letter let us try to know what each and every letter explains him briefly when we come to his surname first m a h u l i stands for mahuli the first letter m stands for multifaceted personality mahuli gopalacharya was a multifaceted personality in the sense he was very much versatile he was an erudite scholar a philosopher multilinguist an orator a voracious reader collector of many books and magazines he was a true scholar he was mainly the founder of our great satyadyana vidyapeetha the next letter a stands for amazing mahuli gopalacharya was really an amazing personality he amazed us with his great perseverance devotion and determination towards the lord and the disciples the next letter h stands for humanist he was a great humanist he believed that religion will not prosper unless it is accompanied by social service and humanitarian skills the next letter u stands for undisputed authority he was an undisputed authority he had an undisputed authority authoritable skills on religion and not only on our hindu religion but even on the eastern and western philosophies also the next letter stands for l he was a living legend and a walking encyclopedia the next letter i stands for inspirational guide he was really an inspirational guide to the ones who really needed solace for their troubled minds the next word gopalacharya here the first letter g stands for generous he was a very generous man he blessed all his disciples in an equally and loyally manner and he explained the disciples to lead their life in a practical way the next letter o stands for oratory skills he had excellent oratory skills and no one could defeat him in his oration not oration not only in a single language but many languages he was even a multilinguist p stands for philosopher he was a great philosopher he was a great leader of our madhva culture and pupils not only to our madhva culture pupils irrespective of their caste or creed would come to find solid would come to uh, ask any doubts regarding their respective philosophies A stands for administrative skills. There is no need to explain about administration because in front of us we are able to see the great Satyadhan Vidya Pita and its administration, which is even being carried out after hundred of years later. L L stands for living spirit. He was a living spirit to many of the people. The next letter again A stands for ambitious personality. not only an ambitious personality was very much aspiring enterprising and he had a very strong desire for achievement and he mainly believed in gaining knowledge because knowledge is the thing which would remain with us until our until death do us apart c stands for creativity he himself was very creative apart from this he inspired many creative minds The next letter H stands for honesty and high mindedness. He was a very high minded, high minded personality. A he was a very he was a very ardent devotee of Madhva Charya, and he stood on his path from the from starting day of his birth until the death until he reached his immortal life. R stands for remarkability. He was a remarkable man, and mainly he was a man of great vision and a revered guru to all his disciples. Y stands for a yielding personality. He had he had a very good adaptability to changes. The last letter again A stands for affirmative. His words were very always uprising, affirmative. assertive and mainly whatever he said it it ex, it exactly declared a uh, true a uh, truth to re, true to many of the doubts regarding anything 
From all this, we can say really adjectives fall short to describe such a great personality. He was a divine man. He was a true scholar. He was an ardent devotee of the Lord. And mainly remembering him on this day would bring us would bring us a nice meaning, nice enlightenment to our life. Thank you.